I've been on the railroad since 2006, so. Oh, that's wonderful. Hi. Rachel and me riding with the engineers on the Disney train. All right, here we go. You're sitting on a different coach, so you're gonna feel your, your body and your feet kind yeah. of move around. Okay. You got some long legs, so make sure not to touch any of this. It's like oh, yeah, yeah. It's like me right now, just burn Oh my gosh, yeah. It's, it's just normal common practice for us. Yeah. We just burn ourselves. So cool. <laughs> so this is a real steam locomotive you're sitting on. Yeah. Uh, it was built in 1925 by Baldwin Locomotive Works out in Philadelphia. Disney found it in 1958 and uh, rebuilt it. Paid about $1,200 for it. Spent a couple Whoa. thousand to refurbish it and get it to look the way it does now. <laughs> and uh, it's been working here happily ever since. That's wonderful. Thank you. It's going to be 100 years old. Just oh my gosh. No way. Oh my God. Yeah, it's crazy. Uh, we have another locomotive that's 130. Oh my wow. heaven. Well, I remember reading in his biographies his, his fascination with the 12th scale uh, European trains when he went to World War I. That smaller scale train. I'm the, I, that's that makes so much sense. Is that's what he did here? There's, I just, there's a lot, I, yeah. lot of influences that he had over his, over the years. Yeah. Uh, when he was a kid, he lived in a town called Marceline, Missouri. Yeah, I know of that. And uh, used to actually that town was put on the map by the Santa Fe Railroad. Yeah. And uh, he would play around a park called the Ripley Park. Yeah. And uh, now. We have a locomotive called the E.P. Ripley, which is named after Ripley Park. <laughs> oh, really? Now, I didn't know that's where the E.P. Ripley came from. Interesting. Oh, wow. we for just a bit, but he fell in love with trains then. They're all named after the old head. Yeah, that's a big Wow. If you guys have any questions, feel free to ask. We'll make up whatever you guys want to hear. <laughs> <laughs> we'll make up whatever you want to hear. Just making it up as you go along. That's how we do it. And here's New Orleans Square. Hi, Daisy. What a lovely smile Daisy <laughs> just gave us. A beautiful smile. Oh, my God. I like this guy. Yeah, this is great. <laughs> right, right. This hype us up the whole day. I love, I love you guys, man. Positivity. I want I want to live here. I want to work here when I'm... Well, I want, we wanted to work here when we retired, but... There's oh. a lot of good spots out here. I'm thinking on a really hot day, this job is a little more of a... Can I take a little more out of you? A little bit, yeah. Literally and figuratively. Yeah. <laughs> when we earn our money. Uh, hey! It's not so sound. That's not so sound. You guys are watering up? No, not at all. Oh, okay. We'll do it next lap. That's one of our mechanics. He's actually worked on the locomotive. Oh, cool. Engineer, so. Okay. So when they had everything down for construction, yes. what did you guys do? Were you down part of the tours and stuff down here when they were taking walking yes, people that's, around? Okay. That's what we did. They're, the company's always been really, really nice to us, and they yeah. uh, keep us busy. Nice. It takes us two years to become a fully fledged engineer. Oh wow! So okay. Everyone starts off on that side. You do that for about a year, and then we kind of get used to the sights and the sounds of the railroad. Yeah. And then get learner's permit. You do this for about six months, and then get to become an engineer after that. So 18 months, two years, and then um, get signed up. You get to do that. Well, as, as I read about steam trains, they talk about them having almost personalities. That's that correct. they will get their own quirks and deals and little things that they do, and you have to listen and know what's going on. And Oh, yeah. Uh, that's and interesting. and I have been around here long enough to we, we know the sound of the fire, like what kind of fire we have. Okay. Uh, you don't even need to look at it. Like when you first start, you're kind of like constantly staring yeah. down below. You know, your foot is like the reflection, like, oh, okay, it's not that big. And then oh. uh, we don't <laughs> like, if you use too much fuel, that fuel's gonna go out through the stack in the front of the locomotive. Okay. So we try to keep everything from smoking because you're wasting money, you're wasting resources. Okay. Like that, so. Wow. You get used to it. This fire is coming up, you hear that? Yeah. That's because we're gonna go up the river. We can actually use a lot of steam, so George is gonna go oh. oh. The new construction, yeah. new construction kind of thing. Is this part of the new stuff, right? Yes, all of this around us is yeah. actually, uh, we don't let gas get off right now. Yeah. Um, right, here we go. This is the river run, so we're actually gonna run uphill. Okay. Get a good running start. I never realized we had an uphill heart. That's pretty cool to hear. I didn't know that. It's not the biggest grade, it's about 2%. So, yeah. Two wow. Oh, yeah, if you're conscious of it, you notice the incline. Interesting. I never even thought about this. Yeah, you're going, definitely going uphill. That's another thing as a fireman, you gotta 
get used to it when we're climbing up hills because you got to make more speed. Yeah. But, so when you become an engineer, you understand what what is happening. So when you're sitting over there, you can feel like, okay, I'm going up hill, I'm going down hill. Oh. This is level right here, so you can kind of. Yeah. You can see the fire belching now. That's interesting. <laughs> That's so cool. You want to see it? I'll open it, but it's going to be pretty hot. No, yeah. we're good. We're good. <laughs> okay. We're good. I, I like my hair on my shins. <laughs> I've only got two of them. I didn't keep those two. Hey, hi guys. Hi guys. Hello, everybody. Oh my gosh. Hey, hi. Look at the guys. Hi, 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 hi. Yeah, I don't like this at all. This is wonderful. I love how the new construction looks like it's been here forever. Well, it's just you know astonishing. Just this past year, the trees have started growing. <laughs> yeah. Getting to some good height. I haven't been here since just after they opened all this. Okay. So okay. yeah, you're totally. It's amazing. How what a beautiful job. It looks good. Oh my gosh. Hello. Ah, is that your? So you know whether you're going? Right now. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Look at that. Broken up into ten different sections, so oh, okay. Ten different sections. Wow. That's so cool. There's the Indian village. Sorry, Native American village. Here we are at Big Thunder right here. Hi, 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 it's so cool, oh my gosh, so cool. Wow. Best seat in the house, best seat in the house. Bryce Canyon, welcome to Bryce Canyon, everybody. Oh, no. This is way better than Big Thunder anyway. <laughs> Good to go, good to go. Yellow. Wow. Hey. Yeah. Oh, yeah. there you go. He knows his deal, okay. Oh, so I see the fuel res residue on the tunnel there a little bit, okay. Interesting, yeah. It's a very heavy train, so I gotta start applying the brakes. Oh, okay. Duplex gauge. Black Needle tells me how much air I have applied to the brake line. Red is how much I have in the tank that's stored. Okay. When I need more air, the steam pump will go off. Fill up that reservoir tank with more air. Oh, wow. Hey, hi, guys. Hi, guys. Hello, hello, hello. Hi, everybody. Hi, 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 guys. Hi, how you doing? Hi, hi, hi. There's the park. The hey. Hi, <laughs> lady. Like, get, get in, I'll do like, you know, a few. And there's your red light, huh? That's my red, I gotta stop. <coughs> See, in the car, this is not a recommendation, it's an order. Please take yeah. heed. <laughs> we have um, flags over here, so we have a oh. ramp on the back side of the coaches. Okay. The ramp needs to line up with the platform. Okay. Uh, number three is our number. So oh, cool. Get that number lined up with my window. So again, that's then you know where your spot it is. It takes a while for wow. you to get used to that. It's a lot of weight that's pushing you. Wow, okay. Especially when it's the full train. That's yeah. a whole lot of people. <laughs> if you coast back by, you got to back up a little bit. And you're like, wasn't me. And you don't want to break anyone's neck. Yeah. Either, so you got to kind of bring it to the <laughs> Yeah, that was really smooth. Nice work, man. Oh, yeah. It was okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he's, Mark is thrown under the bus. Not going to say by whom. Under the train. Under the train, under the train. Yeah, that's awesome. 
So uh, you were talking about the fuel residue. Yeah. Uh, so we use biodiesel fuel. Okay. That's all the cooking oil that we have around the resort. Oh, oh is it? Yeah. Oh, okay. Collected. Yeah. Um, scrub it. We clean it. We use alcohol in it. We kind of get all the oh, wow. out of it. Uh, add about, uh, I think it's like two or three percent of red dye, the diesel that you get at the gas station. Oh. And then put it right back in the tank that's right behind you. Okay. This one holds about 175 gallons of fuel and goes for about half of it. Um, day. Wow. Uh, it's our good way of recycling. It's also a good sign that you guys need to go eat some fried chicken. Yeah. And, uh, you know, been doing, they've been doing our part. We've been doing time, our yeah. part, man. That's right. Uh, later on, yeah. Not helping the part of my waistline, but helping the part of the oil supply. Yes, yeah. so we, we go through less red, regular red dye diesel that way. Yeah. And we use more recycled oil now. We've been doing that since 2007. Wow. So when when the big major construction for Star Wars Land and that stuff was going on, and they were tearing this, they said they to tore down the different locomotives, kind of tore down the motors and or the steamed engines and stuff to rebuild them a little bit for that time or we were maintaining them we were okay our best to keep them in good running shape so we fired them up still okay but they weren't really running around a whole lot yeah they didn't have track <laughs> so, right uh yeah they were trying their best to, to keep them in tip top shape it's kind of tough because these things see about 12 to 16 hour days every day yeah and then for them to just go from running like that all day and then nothing interesting it's, it's tough yeah. Was there a was there a relearning period a little bit when you started firing them back up to run the track a little or? You know, it's kind of like jumping right on back on a bicycle. Yeah. You get that kind of thing. Yeah. But you sit down and then it all comes back. You know. It just takes a lap or two and then you're like, oh yeah. Okay, I get it. I remember this now. Wow. Um, some of the newer folks, yeah, it's a little bit more learning. <laughs> but uh, people like George and I have been around for a long time. Like hopping in your car, pulling up the seat, getting it all set. Now, were you guys hired on for the train, or was that something you graduated yeah, into? We, we both came from being you know, an attraction. We did. Did you do Indy? Also, yeah. So I, I did Indiana Jones. I was the conductor, Jungle Cruise, and Big Thunder Mountain. Oh, okay. And then I just was talking to these guys up here and just decided to come over here. So oh, very cool. We're, we're, we're a different department. Right. We're called facilities. So we're the guys oh. that are, you know, uh, turning wrenches, things like that. Those are the electricians. Okay. Yeah, I was going to say, I didn't know that. that. Okay. Uh, these folks over here are in attractions. But yeah. Typically, we're communicating a whole lot to those kids that see what we're doing. Right. And then they, the people that are interested, we're like, hey, yeah, here's the test. Like, here's, here's how we can help you out. And Interesting. So when you take a test, you have to show some mechanical acumen and that kind of thing. Yes, sir. Yeah, that's I would be dead at the introduction. <laughs> so, must know, to, must know what a wrench is. Nope, 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 nope. Okay, we all learn the Disney way. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's awesome. So, uh, up ahead here at the crossing, we're going to go um, past the roundhouse. Okay. We store all the trains at night. We're bunked at oh. the uh, monorail. Oh, uh, wow. Okay. You'll see that up ahead. Yeah. Look up the left. Oh, cool. I never, I didn't realize that. The roundhouse. It's not so round, it's more rectangular. Yeah. <laughs> very cool, very cool. Oh my gosh. Oh, wow. Here we are, right, guys? Hello, hello, everybody. Hello. <laughs> Hey, 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 hello, hello, hello. So much fun, oh my gosh. I don't know, they, they all seem to be doing that now, so. <laughs> like, all. Oh, that's how the new ones work. Uh, <laughs> You're, you're legitimately making sure people know you're here and crossing. That's absolutely Not right. just entertainment. So you'll see the roundhouse is right up here. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, there's the storage. Oh, wow. And that's actually Holy Moses. The locomotive out front there is the one that's 130 years old. No. Last month it turned 130. Oh, my gosh. That's, that's incredible. 
also that crossing whistle that you hear is too long, too short, and long. Yeah. That's actually Morris code. It's, it's, it's a very old way of, uh, our way of communicating. In the 1800s, they didn't have radios and everything, so they would act, actually have to do whistles. Oh my to God. communicate with the conductors. So that crossing is a very, very old signal, and, you'll, and big trains actually still use it. That's Q for quarantine, uh, meaning get out of the way. Yeah, yeah. interesting. Q for corn. That's huh. cool. Yeah. Wow. Too long, too short, and long. That's, that's what it means. Wow. I didn't notice until I started working over here. And then, yeah, you'll hear them at the crossing. Yeah, now yeah. I'm going to listen for that. That's cool. See, last time we did this, they weren't nearly as knowledgeable as you guys. They just didn't share as much. We had fun, but I didn't get as much info. This is awesome. Don't get me wrong. We love to pick our noses, too. So yeah. <laughs> Yeah. You know, you talk to oh, I'm well, so glad. I've, uh, I've loved trains since I was about two. Uh, so this is a dream job for me. I, I am going to be here as I long as they'll that. keep me here. Oh, I'm so glad. So I love talking to people about trains. Not many people can say dream job in reality. That's wonderful, man. Yeah, this, this is not worth me at all. That's wonderful. <laughs> Don't let them know. Oh, I didn't hear that. <laughs> I do it for free. I do it. I do it for free. No, I wouldn't. No, it's all on. No, nope, didn't hear. I didn't hear a thing. They're around Tomorrowland, Autopia. Oh. We're in Tomorrowland area here. Hey, hey, hi, 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 hi guys, hi, hi guys, hi, hi. Oh, this is just the best seat in the house. I mean, really. Oh, I, I love like watching their, their looks. <laughs> I know. Oh, I, I would. I would donate a clavicle for a lily bell, and that was. I've always. The lily bell thing is just fascinates me. I've heard you guys are short on clavicles here. But that's always fat. Now, if you guys, when you come in, they tell you that part of your history tour is learning all about the lily bell background, all that stuff, or. So the conductors they usually do tours. Oh, okay. But that's cool. You know, over time, you can pick up yeah. the like that, so, um, it's, it's said to be a big deal. I don't, I don't know. I've never. I've seen video of inside. It's kind of pretty. There's a tour that's coming. Yeah. Up. It's a railroad oh. tour. I think it starts next week. Actually. Oh wow! They've been putting it together for the past couple of months. Oh and my gosh! It talks gosh. about Walt Disney and the history of railroading and all that kind of stuff. Oh wow! And it also includes a trip on the river. And then, uh, Is that a ticketed event they're doing? Yes. Yeah, oh, I don't care penny. about the pretty penny. Well, I, I yeah, got it. They, they, um, they give you breakfast, it's like a small breakfast. Yeah. And then they take you to each, like around the resort, like around Disneyland. Yeah. And talk about the history. I, I'm uh, lucky enough to read the, the script uh, to that tour yeah. too long ago. Uh, and it's really good. Yeah. So that includes like a trip on the Lily Bell, and then they oh actually take you to the crossing show you like oh that's the roundhouse this is the history yeah oh my god so you might be interested in that Do, yeah, i'm yeah way past interested now i'm <laughs> i've got the check ready i got a card ready please charge it i'll be we got season passes this year for just this kind of stuff oh there you go i don't want to have to look back and go i wish i would have done that yeah lily bell one with the roundhouse or is that too separate yes but they don't take you inside the roundhouse like uh, all the like i guess all the, the lawyers and the legal team and all that were trying to because yeah. it's really dirty and Slippery in the yeah. Room. So they're they're um, they were trying to talk about what can we show guests in a safe way. So it's like taking a wad of people through a garage and hoping they don't hurt themselves. Yes. Yeah. yeah. It's, not the same. it's like, No. We barely got out safe in the That's right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. There we go. All right. Here we go. We're gonna go to uh, Show you the Grand Canyon. I love this. My favorite part. I love the Grand Canyon thing. <laughs> I love that punch up they did when they refurbished it. They did a nice job. They did. I agree. There's lots of more life to it. Yeah, I've always griped about when they changed stuff and I've always been happy when they did. So, so gotta have faith. Our Grand Canyon is 36 feet tall and it's about 304 feet long. It's one of yeah. the longest hand woven canvases in the world. So wow. It took them almost a year to paint. Wow. That's amazing. A guy named Walmer Yoko. He's a, he was a background painter for like Warner Brothers and Disney and all that kind of stuff. Oh, like movie, okay. Movie sets. 
Wow. It's really pretty. Yeah. And what's weird is we, I've been lucky enough to go inside there and you get really close to it and it's just a bunch of squares and like triangles. <laughs> and you can back up. Oh. It's like that. It's really. Yeah, that's incredible. I love the lightning strike that comes over. They did such a great job. Nothing, right? Oh, yeah. Man. You're way closer sitting here than you are back on the train. Oh yeah. I just realized that you're really close to the glass. There used to be an armadillo down there. <laughs> and then they moved it to the back. Oh really? Every once in a while as a conductor, I'm like, you guys wanna see it? But you couldn't see it because you're sitting down. Yeah. You have to like stand up and kinda like do that down. Oh my I'll god. Mountain climbing helmet day. Yeah. I don't think I've ever been here. Haven't you really? Yeah. They do a history of the dinosaurs here, the whole works, man. I hope you guys can hear the audio. What's that? This is a primeval world, so. Oh, yeah. These guys were initially, they lived in New York. They were part of the World's Fair in 1964. Yeah, that's amazing. And they brought them over to California. Wow. So cool. My phone's got enough battery, or enough uh, memory. <laughs> yeah, they're fighting. You got fighting dinosaurs back here. Yeah. And we're back to the regular world from the primeval world. Any more questions before the test? <laughs> Before the what? Before the test. <laughs> We're gonna let you out here if you don't pass, right? Yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> oh wow. I have an ejector seat. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. That's what the belt is for. Oh. What are our favorite parts of the tour? Yeah. <laughs> Wee! <laughs> oh, did they put the net in yet? Oh, it's kind, of, uh, it's kind of a Spider-Man moment. Yeah, here we go! go. There you go. Wee! Oh, we actually got that now, yeah. That's right. Wee! <laughs> <laughs> save me, Mary. Just save me, save me, Mary Jane. Dude, that was good. I like that. And we're back home. Oh, man. Hey, hi, guys. Hey. Hello, hello, hello. Why do you say how busy it is? Is it busy in the park? What's that? Is it busy? No. No, it's been very quiet today. I, I called and arranged that. There you go. I have a lot of influence over the populace. <laughs> If we're gonna be here, they're not gonna be here. <laughs> Tell them to chill out. That's right. Look how quiet it is. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's right. Yeah. Fridays are usually dead until about three or four. Yeah. Oh. And then and Booms it's the up. reverse on Sundays. Sundays super great. You guys, thank you so much. Thank You're you wonderful. So much. Thank oh, yeah, you so much. One more thing. Let me get you guys a picture of free. Okay. Oh, oh wonderful. Perfect. Thank you. Got it. Let me get your belt back to you. Don't touch it. Nope, nope. Oh, that's 